Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Ben and in this video I will introduce the usage of our JSparrow Eclipse plugin to you. JSparrow is your automatic Java refactoring partner and it allows you to apply source code improvements to single Java files, packages or your whole project within minutes. The first step is to just drag and drop the install button from the Eclipse marketplace to your Eclipse IDE development area. Starting JSparrow is also very easy and for that you just have to open the context menu with the right click of your selected resource. Then you just click on the select rules button and the select rules wizard will open for you. The rules wizard shows all available JSparrow refactoring rules on the left side and on the right side it shows all currently selected rules. If the symbol next to the rule is a lock, then keep in mind that you can upgrade your JSparrow version at any time to get access to this rule. The rules on the right side will be applied in the next step when you click the proceed button. JSparrow will then begin to search for issues in your code that can be resolved by your selected rules. Once JSparrow computed all improvements, JSparrow will display you a diff view, where all the changes can be previewed before applying it to your source code. The very top shows the number of fixed issues and the estimated time saved when applying the current rule. The diff view displays all classes and where issues occurred. In case any changes are not desired, they can simply be unselected. Below that, the original source code is displayed on the left and the proposed code changes are displayed on the right. Clicking on the next button will lead to the diff view of the next rule. When all selected rules are checked individually, the summary of all changes can be reviewed. The summary page displays an overview of all changes in all selected rules. The very top of this page displays the run duration of JSparrow, the total number of fixed issues and the estimated time saved from all rules combined. Once all changes are accepted, they can be applied by clicking on the finish button. And that's it! That's the small tutorial on how you can use JSparrow to find and fix bugs, remove code smell, dead code, as well as improve performance, security and readability in your code. Thank you for watching our JSparrow Eclipse introduction video. I wish you a lot of fun programming and a wonderful day.